Unstructured P2P networks don't present any specific organization of the nodes. The participants communicate randomly with one another. These systems can handle frequent changes in the network where nodes are frequently joining or leaving. Although easier to build, unstructured P2P networks may require higher CPU and memory usage because search queries are sent out to the highest number of peers possible. This tends to flood the network with queries, especially if a small number of nodes is offering the desired content. Structured P2P networks present an organized architecture, allowing nodes to efficiently search for files, even if the content is not widely available. In most cases, this is achieved through the use of hash functions that facilitate database lookups. While structured networks may be more efficient, they tend to present higher levels of centralization, and usually require higher setup and maintenance costs. Other than that, structured networks have more difficulty handling frequent changes in node participation compared to unstructured networks. Hybrid P2P networks combine the conventional client-server model with some aspects of the peer-to-peer architecture. For instance, its design may contain a central server that facilitates the connection between peers. When compared to the other two types, hybrid models tend to present improved overall performance. They usually combine some of the main advantages of each approach, achieving significant degrees of efficiency and decentralization simultaneously. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more videos.